hello welcome to resort harena in this short video i'm going to show you how resort harena is going to be of a great value to your school also how to get your way around resort arena website okay so to get started you need to click on the sign up um, button so i'm going to click on this sign up button now so once you click on the sign up button the next thing you need to do is to enter your first name your last name your school alias and your subdomain is going to be checked if it's available it's going to work or if it's not available it's going to tell you okay this is not available okay so let's get started so i'm going to be starting with my name adela ayadeji and the school alias i'm going to be using here is uh let's say uh, adela dot resort arena dot com so if your school name is um uh, let's say your school name is uh, the unique uh, the united does passing your reference your alias of your school into this place okay so by the time you pass it if it's available it's going to tell you it's available but if it's not available it's going to show an error so let me pass a sub or alias that is already being used so if i pass in a sub i believe this is already being used and if i pass in another alias which i used recently is also what's taken so make sure the one you are going to pass is available so in this case i'm going to pass a delay dot resort arena dot com as you can see this alias is available so once it's available you are good to go so the next thing you need to input now is your email so make sure your email is unique it's not being used on the platform already so i'm going to pass in an email that i believe is going to be available so here i'm going to pass a reference to my email because i already used the initial email but by passing this reference it's going to help me um regenerate a new account okay your phone number also so once you pass in your phone number, pass your password. So password I'm going to be using is one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can <coughs> enter your desired password. Don't use one, two, three, four, five, six. Please do not use <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six as a password. So I'm going to click on the register button and it's going to process the request. As you can see, it says cool created and we have a short text at the footer that says school has been created successfully please check your email to verify your account this is the part that most school normally um omits which is very bad you need to go to your email and verify your accounts i've i've got a lot of complaints about um not being verified it's because they don't check their email so please and please once you create an account make sure you go to your email verify your account please okay so i'm going to click on continue and this is going to close the motor so once the motor has been closed then the next thing you need to do is to go to your email so now here i'm in my email directory so once i click on my first email that i got here from results arena so I'll click on click on it and by opening it you are going to see the email welcoming you so click on the verify link right after the kindly verify your email address okay so click on this so by clicking on that verify link is going to open a new tab for you to um, process the verification now as you can see my email has been verified successfully so once your email is verified successfully as you can see the url is now passed as my subdomain because it is now being verified once it is verified the next thing you need to do is to go to your email to get your login details okay so now let's head down to our email to get our login details so i'm going to go to my email again click on back and as you can see we have welcome to resort arena so over here now you are going to get your details your email that you use to register the password your subdomain the admin account and also the teacher's account so here we have everything we need so what do you need to do just copy the email ctrl c go to your admin paste it here 
go back again copy your password so later if you log in you can change your password so click on sign in so as you can see um now being um i'm not being redirected to the uh, dashboard page so once you get to this page the first thing you need to do because having your password your email is not really secure the first thing you need to go is to go to your profile now once you get to your profile section in the area where you have new password input a new password into this place so you can pass in a new password so in my own case i can decide to pass new password to this place new password okay so click on save profile and that is going to change your password so that makes it safe so if i log out now and i log in again so to log in back to the admin is very simple we don't have we don't we don't have the link on the landing page so you need to manually pass it to the url slash admin slash admin so now let's not try our login so if i log in with the previous detail let's say the previous detail i try to use is going to give an error so let's see uh just trying to log in my network is a bit slow okay now it says what invalid password so now if i enter the new password that i just updated to new password okay as you can see this works we are now being redirected to our dashboard so i can click on updates or no thanks if i don't want okay so once you are in your dashboard the first thing you need to do is to update this default settings that is installed on your um, results management so what you need to do is to go to your site settings and update your school name so let's say this site title now i want to change it to my school name so here we have school name and uh, you set in your current session you set in your current name the description the address actually this address is one of our top schools that is currently using this platform so the they started using this platform 2019 down to 2023 and they are still using it actually okay so your address is going to be entered also here and this display image you set it to your school and make sure the size of the image is not more than 500 kilobytes maximum 700 kilobytes so i'll click on change image then browse image so i'm going to go to my directory so there's a particular version i have for the version 2 so let me try to export uh, the design we have there that is a particular background so i would like to use okay this is it here. so i will click on open and it's going to ask you if you want to crop but i would recommend you not to crop because this is a background image but you can crop for students so now you can either click on the skip or you make the size to make sure it's being suitable to this kind of format so make sure it's a standard format that suits what we currently have here so that the image is going to come out good please okay so after that is done you need to now click on save button so i'm going to click on the save button and the settings is now being saved click on ok and that is going to reload just to confirm it's working yeah so the logo also you can decide to change the logo but at the moment i don't really have any logo on my system so design your logo and upload it to the system it's also going to change so let me just show you let me, let me try it so that you guys can really be sure so i'm going to use a client's logo <laughs> it's not actually my logo so it's just for a test as you can see the logo works so if i reload my page oh sorry i think it's because i didn't click save so let me try to click on save this time around so that's why i just need to show you guys how it works so that uh we're on the same page so click on save yeah let's see okay so that works as you can see we have the school name we have the logo so i will temporarily use this logo for now for this um short video i'm very sure my clients will not um will not sue me for that okay so after the logo is being presented then the next you need to do 
is to create your students oh before you create the students you need to create your class because student will depend on class you know you need to select the class that the student uh, is actually um trying to uh, log into and also the department so the class the department the subject combination that's very important so let's start with the class so go to manage class and here i'm going to add a new class so the new class name is going to be sss1 so click on add and let's also add more class to this sss2 um, so in the future i'm going to add i'm going to roll an update to add multiple class but for now kindly do to add a class individually okay so let's just enjoy this good so this has been added so we have ss1 ss2 ss3 so you can add many classes as you want but for just this test only we can just do this to a class so this class can also be modified can be removed okay everything is uh, working perfectly over there so once the class is ready then you need to um go straight down to the subject section create at least some subjects so let's add some subjects here let's call this maths okay so english i'm just going to make it very simple maths english and let's add more subjects let's say it's civic okay education and good so now we have three subjects cool so now the next you need to go the next page you need to go to is the manage student departments manage student department very important so click on add department so the department that you need to add is the department that you're currently running your school so here i'm going to have science so you can have as many as you want so we have science let me also add one more let's say add so you can add as many as you want but currently i'm going to be testing with science so once you are done with subjects uh student department the next page you need to go to is the money subject combination which is also very very important so on the subject combination section click on our subject combination select the department you would like to pass in the subject combination but in this case i'll be using science because it is the science subject that we declared so far so i'm going to pass in the maths and also the english so i'm very sure <laughs> civic education i'm not really sure because it's been a very long time i've been into school system but let me just add civic education to the science for just um, the test so you can select the um the accurate the accurate subject your specific uh, departments in your own case okay so this is just for testing purpose i'm very sure you understand so you can also remove you can add so that is possible so click on save and it's going to save the combination so after the combination has been saved you can also click on the edit button it will ask you to edit okay so that also works fine so the next thing you need to do is um move on to the student section so we go to the student on the student area uh you see this logo we uploaded the last time is actually catch on our device so is use just save memory but in case the picture is not what you want you can upload it again so let me add a new picture so browse then i'm going to select my picture then I click on open so once you select that it's going to ask you to crop so you can crop the pictures let me take it down a bit yeah so this make more sense yeah this is awesome okay so click on crop and it's going to help you to crop it oh my picture is more than 500 kilobytes awesome so as you can see my picture is more than the require size of 500 kilobytes so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um retry again with another picture or try to compress this picture so let me try if that is not possible just close it and open it again 
but once you open it again this time around you can select a lesser image okay so i'm going to click on browse and let me use my frame picture as you can see it is 330 kilobytes so because it is 330 kilobytes it's going to be accepted so click on open then this loads up then we click on crop and it's going to allow the cropping and this actually is accepted okay so this is my um this is my friend's picture i'm very sure he's not going to sue me for it so we can use it so the full name here is uh delay uh, sorry uh delay uh, okay then sorry full name i did good so you can pass in your email or oh, sorry the email of the student so because in the future we are also going to introduce a new um, update that is going to allow the student to log in but we need to start collecting their email from now so that by then it's going to work and if you are asking me about the students in basic classes who don't have an email at the moment yeah so for those who don't have email at the moment you can pass in their first name and their last name and adding um the year of their uh what is it called of your enrollment to it then pass at gmail.com to it let's say the student doesn't have any email just generate something from their full name let's say we have a delay uh, your DJ. so let's say this is student so this is student full name and the year of the registration 2023 at gmail.com so just pass this and in the future you can create the email but it is very important to just pass an email into this feed is very important okay so after that is done select the department which is science yeah then if you already have your student id you can pass in the student id here and if you don't want the system to generate that for you you can decide to just um you, if you want the system to generate it for you rather you can decide to just check this again and it's going to help you generate um, the student id okay so select the class which is ss1 and the date of birth is 18 so you can select the correct data but this is just a test okay so click on submit and it's going to successfully add the student to your database and now you can now manage the student so the student is being created as you can see with id of 115 awesome so now you can go to manage student and you are going to see the student with the id generated cool this student can also be deleted and can be modified so just click on this button and it's going to show you it's going to load the page where you can modify the students okay so to the next section that we're going to be moving down to that is the results area so on the results area we have the hard result we have the manage results okay so we click on the manage results and as you can see we don't have any in here so if you have your result already it's going to show up over here so let's click on the hard results so on the hard results area we are going to see all these uh, input feed and all these sections it's very simple and straightforward so what you just need to do is first you select the class that you like to add a result for now as you can see it loads the data so once you select the class it's going to automatically load the students over here okay so let's click on the strength and as you can see we have um a delay that loads up using chooks <laughs> chooks actually uh chooks for right picture i'm very sure it's not going to be for using this picture <laughs> okay so let's move on to the next one then here we have the theme so you can set your theme at the moment this is the theme that is being selected by the admin so you can alter it only the admin can set it inside the site settings page okay so the next one is day school open so let's say 118 day school present 110 day absent for time begin this time and this and next time begin this and if you are done with the entire results and you can also pass in your teacher's comment by the moment we can just pass in well done job okay 
so here is teacher status and here we have admin status because we are using teachers accounts uh, sorry because we are using admin account that's why we can see the admin status so if you are using the teachers account you are not going to see the admin status so here we cannot pass in the approved but if the admin status is approved it will automatically override the teacher status okay yeah so let me use approve and here i'm going to have the marks for the subjects that has been um entered okay so here now we have several ca types that you can use we have ca type one down to four yeah because we have several schools that is going to be using this system that's currently also using it so you can decide to go for ca1 okay ca2 with 60 20 20 ca3 as you can see 70 10 10 10 we also have ca4 60 10 10 10 10 so it depends on the format you are currently using your school and at the end it's going to be converted to 60 40 so you don't need to worry about the conversion so let's select the first one because i regularly use this a lot so i'm going to set um total marks of the exam of um of 60 so let's say he, uh, he got 50 and the text he got 35 and english he got 60 uh mathematics he got 40 ah uh, sorry text marks and for the exam of the civic education he got um 45 and the text also marks the text marks he got 23 so here now we have all the exam and the text answer being entered to so the next you need to do is to click on the submit button so once you click submit the result is going to be added to the database and your ca is going to be marked onto these results so you can change it until you create a new one okay so the next thing we need to do now is to click on this preview so you can decide to preview it and yeah you know what you did you need to see how it looked like so i'm clicking on the preview is going to load up this error so the reason why we have this error is because we have not installed any result template yet so we need to we need to install this i'm going to click on install then it's going to install the result template for me so the template is now being installed so i'll go back to my results page manage results and edit it again okay so once you click on the edit then you can click on this preview result again and it's going to work this time around whoa results template not found okay so that's because we have not do some settings so go to your default results template section go to your default result template section that is the plugin you just installed because installing it alone will not activate those things for you so you click on the default plugin templates and you select um the the respective class that needs to use this so i'm going to select ss1 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 so the title one go for this one title two go for ss the class that you want the title three go for the class that you want so let's say i don't want it to go for ss1 i want it to go for ss2 and i want this one to go for ss3 so title one goes for this title two go for this and title three goes for this that is the title of the report card okay so here we have the grading system so this grid should be used for ss1 this grid should be used for ss2 and this grid should be used for ss3 cool so the font size teachers comment the title okay so now select class for this template that is the class that is going to show this template that is what it means so i'm going to select what ss1 ss2 and also ss3 so the supported class for this template is ss1 ss2 and ss3 so that's why the um plugin is not going through okay so click on save settings and that should be saved so all this has to be done so that you will understand when you are experiencing the same issue that we face in this video okay so now let's now go back to our manage result again and let's try to um, preview our results this time around so i'm going to click on this preview now let's see if it's going to work okay as you can see it works it works perfectly so now this title that i set for ss1 can be edited and this 
teacher's comment title also can be edited using this result template okay so we have our students personal data we have our school address we have the uh, motto we have the school name we have the student picture we have the school logo so this details also is also presented the number of days school open that we added the academic performance so the mathematics the english the civic as you can see everything is already designed for us so let's say i want to change this title for these current students so it's very possible to do that so i'm going to go back to the default template section so on the default template section i'm going to just change this to instead of continuing assessment report card for senior secondary school i can decide to just use junior so if you call this junior and click on save it then is going to save that for you and um, by the time you refresh this page you are going to see the difference as you can see it is now using junior so you can imagine a situation whereby you set for um the junior and the senior and also the primary so that is why we have it in three sections that is report one report 32 report 33 so you can have for the the junior the senior and also the um, primary okay so that is how the default template works cool so now the next one that we're going to now look into is you can also click from this place and you can also delete this results yeah it can be deleted and you can click it from here and it's going to also still load it for you cool so now let's now move on to the next section which is um the money teachers account so here you can decide to add your teacher and you know give them access to the platform so let's see i would like to add new teacher so let's call this teacher one and the email i'm going to use in this time around is bigadred plus two so that is going to see it as a new email so the class i want this teacher to manage is ss1 so the teacher's phone number needs to be also entered so 348384 so that's my phone number so here i pass the same email as the teacher's password because a lot of headache normally comes from um you using it along with teachers they normally forget the password so you can set a password that can be easily recollect that can be entered easily for them so that it's not going to be an headache and or trouble because teachers don't have time to start thinking about password yeah so click on add teacher and that is going to add a teacher as you can see we have teacher also be added to this place so you can add more teacher and you can remove the teacher you can also modify the teacher so let's say i want to log in the teacher's accounts so it's very simple let me um uh, go to google chrome yeah let me go to google chrome and try to access our delay dot results arena so our delay dot results arena dot com click on enter and that should load up this page for us and i will log in as teacher then yeah paste in paste in this click on sign in and yeah we are now logged in redirect to the teacher's dashboard so this is what the teachers can see now as you can see here we have recently registered student for the ss1 student and here we have the ss1 results so teachers can manage everything we have here so um now let's now try to go for the money student so let's go to the money student sections teachers can add students uh for this particular class which is ss1 as you can see it is not loading any other class except ss1 so the student the so the teachers begin to select the department and add the students so in case the administrator doesn't want to do that stress so teachers can add the students manage the students and at the same time teachers can manage the results and also add results so let's say the teacher wants to edit these results so i click on this section you're going to see what the teacher can do as you can see the teacher can um, select the time set all these modify all these and the teacher can also change status only admin status that is going to be possible yeah so the teacher can also preview the results is going to be visible to the teacher awesome good so that is for this part so click on sign out and 
teacher is being logged out so let's go back to the um admin accounts so on the admin accounts page let's let me show you another features of this platform so here we have the results pane so results pane is used to um show the uh what is it called show the results on the front end by the students so let me open it on google chrome as you can see this is the school name and this is the landing page so on this page now as you can see it says check your results you can enter the student id and select the um uh, specific data so now let's say i would like to use a pin so what i will just do now is to make sure i enable the pin so now pin enabler pin usage is now being enabled and if i refresh this page it's going towards it's going to show the pin but if you don't want to use pin on your website just disable it and it's going to disable the pin as you can see no more pin so let's say we want to check the results without pin so i'll go to manage results and copy the student id paste it into this place select the data that match the data of the results select the class and click on check results and as you can see it's going to load the results to the student but let's say you want to um you want a situation whereby you want the student to be using a pin it's very simple to do so first you need to make sure the student id is being copied then go to the pin section let me open the pin in a new tab open in a new tab so now we have it in the new tab so click on generate pin and the pin is going to be generated and as you can see we have this pin so let me copy this pin if i copy this pin go to my google chrome reload my page oh sorry i gen i actually generated a pin without being without enabling the pin usage okay so pin usage is not enabled refresh so pasting the pin then the student id needs to be provided so i'm going to copy this ctrl c um pasting the guy so select the class check results as you can see the results loads up using pin usage but if i pass the wrong pin it's not going to work and if i go to the manage pin and if i refer this page you are going to see the user that is currently using this pin and the remaining um count for this pin is four okay so if i check this result again the pin is going to reduce as you can see it's not three if i check the result again the pin is going to reduce if i check the result again the pin is going to reduce and if i check it for the last time pin is what's is not zero so if i check it again it's not going to work it's going to um give an error notice that says pin exhausted and if you try to use the pin let's say the pin is sent to someone and you try to just use it it's going to tell you that the pin is exhausted so let me pass the user id so pass the user id now as you can see it says what pin exhausted because it is not available and if you eventually bypass everything we have here let's say you click on enter <laughs> it's not actually going because the pin was is exhausted awesome so if you disable this pin usage and you refresh this page just copy the student id pass the student id set the class and click on next it's gonna load up without using the pin okay so <laughs> this is how <coughs> this is done yeah is a lot of work i can tell you is a lot of work coming up with this development making sure everything is awesome so you can give it a try register your school yeah let's see how it work and if you have any improvement any suggestion is welcome yeah reach out to me and i'm definitely going to uh make it happen yeah I'm going to make it happen. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this short video installation. See you in the next video. Bye.